For 37B, you're going to do the same thing. Your horizontal vertical asymptote is going to be setting the denominator equal to zero. Your horizontal asymptote will be, since the, co since the exponents are the same, you're just going to divide the coefficients, which are both going to be one. Your x-intercept is only setting the numerator equal to zero. So you set x minus four equal to zero, and you get x equals negative four, making your x-intercept at the point negative four, zero. And your y-intercept is when you place zeros in for your x values. So you wind up getting y equals zero plus four, over zero minus three, which is four over negative three. So your y-intercept is at zero, negative four-thirds. So the first thing you wanna do is draw your asymptotes. Make sure that you label. Then you wanna label your intercepts, which are at negative four, zero and at zero negative four thirds, which is a little over negative one. Those two points are enough points for us to plot that curve. Now the curve on the other side, we just need points that are bigger than three. So put this in your calculator, making sure that you have parentheses around each of the binomials. So you should have parentheses So in your calculator you can have parentheses x minus 4 divided by parentheses x minus 3. And now I can use the points 4 8 and 5 and 4.5 to plot this. So I'm going to go to 4 8 and then 5 and 4.5. And that gives me enough points to plot my curve. Now the last thing is the domain. Domain goes from negative infinity to the vertical asymptote and vertical asymptote to infinity. The range goes from negative infinity to the horizontal asymptote and horizontal asymptote to infinity.